Okay, welcome back to this practical SEO course where you're learning how to make your site visible without having to have uh, extensive technical knowledge. Now, in this video, we're going to be talking about doing some niche research and we're going to talk about some alternatives. Now, we've talked about the Google AdWords keyword tool. And what I want to do with you here uh, for a second is I want to talk to you a little bit about some of the limitations of the Google AdWords keyword tool. So if I would go to Google and uh, start to look for the AdWords keyword tool as I would. I'm going to click into the Google AdWords keyword tool. Now, when I use the Google AdWords keyword tool, and let's say that, uh, again, now let's say that my niche here is going to be, let's say it's going to be weight loss. And in particular, let's say it's going to be a particular kind of weight loss. It's going to be bariatric surgery. I'm going to make sure I spell that right there. Okay, bariatric surgery. So we're going to do the capture here. I'm going to click search. And like we expect, Google brings back different search terms. Now, we can definitely use the search terms in order to uh, do the rest of our research in order to determine what we're going to try to rank for. Now, one of the problems uh, with doing this is if you look at the keywords here, right? you get the information on how competitive it is in terms of AdWords, but it doesn't go in-depth into the actual long tail and conversational keywords that people are actually having. What has happened to Google over the last uh, year and a half or two is that it is much more user friendly and people are using search engines differently. And in those cases Google doesn't necessarily show the ways in which people are using the search engines. For instance, some people use the search engines and I'm going to go back here to Google here. and they type in questions like what is bariatric surgery and if you'll notice that keyword is not necessarily prominently displayed but that would probably be a great keyword to rank for because that's going to be something that people are going to want to know some people might type in should I have bariatric surgery and you'll see other uh, websites ranking for that term now unfortunately uh, you won't necessarily be able to see uh, in this case those keywords within the searches that you're going to have in the Google AdWords keyword tool now you might if you dig uh, deeply into some of these other keywords but again uh, time is always going to be of the essence and in most cases you may be outsourcing this according to your method or uh, you may just really need to be pressing about getting the uh, initial blueprint of your site done so now we're going to talk a little bit here about keywords tool keyword tools in general now the problem with keyword tools in general is that they all use uh, the Google AdWords keyword tool uh, pretty much as their basis so you're going to want to be careful about uh, relying on keyword tools because for the most part they use uh, the uh, uh, AdWords keyword tool as their basis. What you want to try to do as we talked about a minute ago is to find out what kind of conversations people are having online whether or not they're on social media or whether or not they are uh, among their friends and one of the best ways to do that of course is to look at websites like Yahoo Answers. Now the thing about Yahoo Answers is that it's going to be relevant 
to your topic because people are actually going to Yahoo Answers in order to try to find uh, some of the answers to their questions that they might think uh, they might they aren't going to be able to get reliable information from any other place. Now let's take a look at that website here, and we're just going to go to Yahoo Answers. I'm going to click Yahoo Answers and what I'm going to type in here is I'm going to type in bariatric surgery. Okay, now here are some questions that people are actually answering. Now remember the key in your SEO is to be relevant. It's also to make sure that you are uh, you are you are uh, at the forefront of what people are actually talking about. And here is an excellent way uh, to find out what people are talking about. Now, if you were to go through each and every one of these pages, of course, you could go through all seven of the pages. Or one of the things that you could do is to actually automate your search. And let's talk a little bit about how you might automate a search for a site like Yahoo Answers and we use a software called iSoft Easy Answers and I'm gonna pull that in for you to look at it right here and what a Yahoo uh, iSoft Easy Answers does is it actually looks for uh, the conversations that are occurring online so in this case let's type in bariatric surgery and we're going to click search it's going to wait a few seconds and what iSoft Easy Answers is going to do it's going to tell us how many answers are between uh, are, are on each of these questions and now the interesting thing is that we will be able to tell how popular a particular question is now we could sort this and we can go through each one of these and just really get a sense for what are people really asking and how many people are really answering. How can I obtain bariatric surgery on a pro bono basis? That might be for people who can't necessarily afford what they believe to be the cost of bariatric surgery. That might be a good keyword to actually write on or to have an article created on or to create uh, content on or videos. See, so what Yahoo Answers does is it does it really does put together uh, those things that people are actually searching for, and what you're using iSoft Easy Answers to do is to really automate the process and to give you a sense for uh, what information is going to work for you. Now you'll notice that I just clicked the Answers button, and what I've done is I've sorted, right? So one of the things I can determine is I can determine how much or how how uh, how uh, uh, popular a particular question is now that I've sorted in that way I can also sort by the comments right five answers in one comment five answers in one comment or I, again I can just sort by the, the answers or I can just sort by the comments why do I have to pay voluntarily for uh, well that's probably not one that we're going to want to look for that's probably not going to fit our but interestingly uh, in in the course of our research that just might be an interesting topic to approach because apparently it is one that people are coming up with answers for so iSoft Easy Answers really does some of the work and takes some of the work out of doing the niche research it is a way to automate it and it's actually an easy way for you to pass on the research to someone who is doing the outsourcing whereas you might just have someone and you might outsource it you can actually get someone who might not necessarily be as expensive by just going and getting the software iSoft Easy Answers and then having your outsourcer do some of the work okay so one of the things that again your niche research is doing for you is it's getting it is getting you into the conversations that people are having online that's very important um, as you determine as first of all you're determining some of the things that people are actually talking about keeping their interest on your site and then getting to some of those keywords that might not necessarily be visible 
on the Google AdWords keyword tool. So with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.